Hello. Did you know that the name of the Western Land Gorilla, scientifically speaking, is the Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla? So, now that we've gotten the science part out of the way, I can continue on with what this week's videos are supposed to be about. Actually, there's first one little announcement that I'm probably going to forget at the end, so I'm telling you now. Gabe has decided to drop out, last I heard. So, for a limited time only, for the next few days, we are looking for someone to fill in his spot in the Friday videos. If anyone would be interested, then just post a comment, and depending on who it is, we might be able to uh, add you on here. Also, I'll be spending some time on the on the Ning, so hopefully we can find some time. And on that, this is this is one of my biggest stuffies. I actually don't remember where I got this one. But anyway, this week's videos are about ejection. It was it was not my idea for once, but I'm going to still be working on ejections for this week. Like how mammals eject their young. But of course, we all know about that and a lot of us don't want to talk about that. So instead I'm going to of course do it via this video games. Now, actually the first one is the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, commonly called the NES, which I actually did not realize until many years later. When I saw it on the front, it reads Nintendo Entertainment System. My dad actually didn't know that was that was longhand for the NES. Basically, you just push it and pull it. And you can just put it back in. Ta-da. Boom. And that... Ta-da. Most all consoles require a button or something to be pushed for an extraction of a game. However, the Game Boy, and this was actually my real Game Boy from when I was young, didn't have this cover. It had the actual cover, which I seem to have... I'm going to go with misplaced. And hopefully I can get back, but for now I'm using a cover that I got on a $1 Game Boy that came with Pokemon Gold. It works okay, I haven't really played on it that much, because of course, red, blue, blue and yellow for the win. This one I actually, I haven't not played Pokemon for like ages. Once I decided I'd like to start the school year for for lunchtime, or I'd show just how much time was being wasted for lunch every day for the entire school year. It was like a... 45, 55 minute lunch. It's by only playing a Pokemon file game on that. And by my estimations, you can start from the very, very beginning, take as much time as you need, pretty much, and you can get all the Pokemon on that 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 cartridge has. And you can beat the Elite Four and go and get Mewtwo, and you can get po one of your Pokemon up to level 100 even, in, in the amount of time that they gave you for lunch in just one school year. Yikes. But anyway, that's not what this is about. First, to eject it, put your thumbs on it, boom. Of course, just put one thumb on it, but it's a little bit harder. And then, of course, came the Game Boy Advance. I never got one, but I got the Game Boy Advance SP a few years later. This is actually a Game Shark that I have. Oh, my goodness. I don't know when the last time was that I took that out. And right there was the longest time I had the SP without a game inside of it. Remember first, first getting this, and I thought the games were so tiny. You just pull up, and boom. And then you can put in the new game. Oh, yeah, by the way, Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town. This game literally, I don't mean figuratively, this game literally changed my life. If it wasn't for this video game, I would not be Vanellian. I probably would still be living at my mom's, I don't know. But it literally changed my life. I would not be, I would not be doing these videos. I would not be a nerd fighter. I'm going to bet that I would not be a nerd fighter. I would not have been an, an author because I would not have had the ideas for Vanel to make the stories. Actually, I would not have had the idea to make a story, so I would not be an author. I would not be a Vanellian. I would not 
I'd probably not be playing D and D. I might be actually. I probably would not be playing D and D. I would just be a regular, normal, average person if it wasn't for this game. Also, Naruto. I don't have any Naruto stuff though. But no, sorry, not Naruto. Sorry, Avatar. Not Avatar the movie. Avatar the Last Year. But I don't have any of that stuff either. And it was only about last year that I finally watched all the episodes on Netflix and. I like the story, personally, mainly because it changed my life, but that, of course, you don't want to really hear about, necessarily. So just, boom. Also, yes, the Game Shark broke. There was actually a time when I just had it, like, on my belt, and once in a while, I'll just open it up, start playing it, close it, whatever. It was, actually, yeah, I actually did turn it on at some point. And then came the Nintendo DS and the Nintendo DS Lite. You can still have Game Boy Advance games in it, of course it has a little slot, but you cannot have Game Boy games in it, unfortunately not. Don't know why, but you just cannot. And of course, finally, there's a new thing with the DS that came out. I did not know this at first. Save me forever to change games. Boom. You see that? No? And then you just pop in the new game back in. But basically what you do is... Yeah! You just push it in and the games can go flying, quite literally. Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have it. Either. My uh, DSi. And then of course came the DSi XL, which, now, come on, how many letters are they going to add to it before they realize, and actually no, people are still buying these new ones. And then of course, I don't have my PlayStation, and none of my other consoles are really portable enough. The Wii is, but come on, that's kind of a little bit boring, because it's just a simple premise. This, and for this, you push... I have not played on this for years, especially since I got the PS3. Actually, since I got the PS3, I basically stopped playing with the on the PS2, which is a bit sad for the PS2. It's a little bit cold. And of course, there's a whole issue of the power button and the ejector hat. However, with the PS2 and pretty much all game consoles after that, of course, I don't know about the Sega or the less popular ones, or the GameCube, but for... Or the Xbox, but for pretty much all game consoles after that, especially like, you know, the PS3, the 360, and the N Nintendo Wii, the main ones for right now, they have to be plugged in in order for the eject button to work. With the PlayStation, I which I tried to look for, but I couldn't find it, you just push the button and poof, it pops it back out. And so that is what I have to say about ejection, how ejection basically changed, or really did not change too much, with the video games. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am going to play a little bit of Jenga. If I move that out of the way, Jenga, Nintendo style. DFT, DFTBA.